Okay, so we're to item number seven now, and uh, that's where you're going to create your PowerPoint slides and turn those slides in separately to me before you uh, actually create your presentation uh, so I can uh, get them graded and back to you with suggestions um, so you can have them refined before you make your actual, actual presentation in item number eight. Um, that said, Chapter 8 is all about uh, making uh, uh, PowerPoint slide presentations for research um, and also presenting those slides. Although, in this instance, because this is an online course, I'm having you in item number 8, I'm having you do a narrated or voiceover PowerPoint presentation. Um, I'm not actually having you stand in front of a camera and, and present. So, so some of chapter 8 uh, regarding um, presenting to a live audience, some of that won't apply, but some of it will. So go ahead and read through that as well. But as you can see in chapter 8, you got a section on constructing slides. Um, and again, here is addressing the audience. Now some of, some of what you'll get out of this addressing the audience part is simply um, the, the role of being concise, the role of, of acting like you're, you know what you're talking about. And, and that's, that's very important. Um, you know, I've, I've been to presentations before, believe it or not, um, where, uh, you know, the person really knows, 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 looks like they know what they're talking about. But uh, after the presentation, you ask the person, uh, you know, questions, and, and frankly, they really don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> but they pretended like they do. And, and, and really, to be honest with you, it is um, the ability to come, off, uh, come across as being knowledgeable and comfortable in your presentation uh, that um, uh, people do appreciate. Uh, especially in the in the area of research um, but chapter 8 goes on to talk about the length of the presentation you don't want the presentation to be very long uh, in our case uh, you know it should follow the guidelines in here um, but your presentation is to be no more than uh, 10 minutes okay let me repeat that. Your presentation, your narrated presentation, is to be no longer than 10 minutes. Um, meaning that the number of slides that you should be covering, including, including the title slide, should only be as many as there are in the book, which in this case, including the title slide, there's seven. Okay, um, but uh, that said, even though there's very few slides, um, you also don't want to cram too many bullet points on each slide. Okay, so for instance, I've only got three bullets on this slide, three bullets on this slide, three bullets on this slide. Um, you can see the amount of limited information I have on this on these slides here and that's because it's your narration that's going to elaborate in these areas you don't have to put down every detail of your paper into this presentation um, but what you do is you put up a bullet and then you explain that bullet more thoroughly okay but getting through seven slides, including the title page, you're going to realize is going to be quite difficult uh, in only 10 minutes. Uh, that means that, uh, you know, it, I'll, I will allow you to go as low as four slides, including the title slide, if you think that will help you um, in your presentation you don't want to be you don't want to have to flip through slides you don't want to have to go to the next slide uh, until you're thoroughly done discussing a slide and, and you may find yourself doing that if you actually go all the way up to the seven slide uh, limit here um, so so keep that in mind uh, what, what you're going to be presenting of course is you're going to be presenting um, the basic outline of your paper and that basic outline is just what we discussed in videos way back when 
uh, believe it was item four we discussed this. You're you're going to have you're going to talk about uh, essentially um, what motivated this paper. Why is it important? Um, who cares? Okay. Uh, ultimately, how uh, this research can affect policy. Uh, then you are going to move into the data, the model, and the results, and then finally draw a conclusion. Okay, you're going to have to fit all that in into four to seven slides, including the title slide. Okay, so keep that in mind. It's a, it's difficult, um, but again, you've got a lot of time to do it. I want you to think about. Um, think about how you're going to present the material that you put on the slides uh, before you finish your slides and upload them to me for a grade okay because that's what I'm going to be thinking about when I'm grading your slides I'm going to be not only analyzing whether you're fluent in, 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 in what you're doing what you're writing about what you're presenting um, whether the slides are, are, you know, look nice, whether they're clean. Um, I'm not only going to be grading you on that, I'm going to be grading you, I'm going to be thinking about when I'm grading these slides, I'm going to be thinking about in the back of my head, okay, if I were presenting this material, is that bullet point, the way it's written, easy to explain in words? Okay, and, th and that's critical because that has everything to do with your ability to convey your research material to the general public. Okay, um, so keep that in mind. But again, chapter 8 in the book it tells you a lot about what you have to do in constructing a slide presentation. Uh, make sure you get that into me in a timely fashion. I wouldn't wait until the due date if you can get it in earlier than that. I can get it turned around, graded, and back to you, and then you can start working on your uh, narration, uh, uh, your voiceover of these slides for uh, item number eight.